With more and more people experiencing food insecurity, the need for supports is skyrocketing. It's something that Feed Scarborough, a local organization, knows all too well. They're opening their sixth food bank, and they say this time around, they're doing things a little differently. We are one of the first food banks to start not only the to do not only the grocery store model, but also a points carryover model. That is the first in uh, any food banks in Canada, where clients can don't not only just come and use the food bank for what they are allowed to take, but if they don't need a certain amount of food on one of the weeks, but need more the other, they can actually plan and save some points to take more the week they need it. So how does this all work? Well, the clients will come in here, they'll grab a bag or a basket. They have three different rooms to choose whatever they want. And this all works on a point system here. So all the clients will be getting a card with points on it. They can come to this location at Warden and Eglinton Avenue East, get what they want, or they can also go online and make those purchases. Now this is the grim story. Uh, in overall Scarborough, we've seen a 29% jump in use of food banks which is higher than any other part of uh, GTA. Uh, but in our food banks, primarily year over year, we have seen 220% jump. So right now, just in our food banks, we are doing close to 5,000 people every week, which is a huge number. For the past three years, uh, it, we came to realize that we were running into people that were in need of food while we were working. Uh, so once a month we come here, we bag 30 or 40 uh, bags of variety of different items, uh, non-perishable of course, and uh, we carry them in our police cars so that if we do encounter somebody that's uh, underhoused or in need of food, then we can be able to supply them with food right away. We run a business that we want to shut down for good. This inequity is what really drove us because these are our folks, these are our community. The nonprofit organization depends on the generosity of others. They take donations from corporations and from people at home. Of course, monetary donations are best. You can find more details on their website. In Scarborough, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.